Enjoy mathematics, physics and games with Coco's 2D, JS. Game programming. Are you curious about the history of games? We cannot pinpoint the period of the beginning of the games, but they say that portable games similar to chess appears in the ancient Egypt civilization. Perhaps the games for the leisure time advanced along with the start of the human civilization. In this book, we will learn how we can build interesting games based on mathematics and physics. Now, let's see the first game. The game we are making is Brick Breaker Game, which is very familiar with us. You move the bar to hit the moving ball, and the ball hits the blocks until all the blocks disappear. If you do not receive the moving ball and the ball passes the bar, your life decreases one by one. I hope it is a game you played at least once, and even if you never played it before, it is a simple structure, and you will be able to understand soon. I'd like to explain the second game. The Garden Keeper game that we are planning to make is a game to throw an object and to hit the target with a parabolic trajectory. It is also a game very familiar to us as the Brick Breaker game. It is also a good example with a lot of mathematics and physics principles such as speed, trigonometric function, parabolic motion, etc. The story of the game is like this. Keeper tries to keep the garden beautiful. But the moles come to the garden and try to ruin the garden, and the keeper defeats the moles with hammers. When the game starts, you have to defeat the set number of moles in certain time period. Every time you defeat a mole, the score increases. I remember that I first encountered a computer program when I was 11. Displaying the multiplication tables with a computer program and making the famous Invader game by myself were almost a shock to me. I still cannot forget the sky I looked up and the excitement I had on my way back home from the first time I put my hands on the computer keyboard. I hope this book can make 11 year old boy easily acquainted with program. With such hope, I listed up the difficult programming into easy 20 steps. You will not be able to make a computer game right after finishing this chapter, but I believe that you will be able to have enough knowledge on the concept of a program. I arranged the contents in the hopes to nurture the knowledge for a programmer who will be able to make not just a game program but also any programs. If I could take a time machine like in a movie and deliver this book to myself who was 11 years old, wouldn't it change a lot of things about me now? Mathematics and Physics I remember mathematics and physics being difficult subjects when I was in school. When I did not feel like studying the subjects, I asked the teachers why we need to learn about complicated mathematics and physics and how we are going to use them in real life later on. The teachers explained, but the explanations were not good enough to change my mind and my friends' minds. If I knew about the mathematics and physics being used in games, my friends and I could have liked the subjects. I am going to introduce typical math and physics concepts that are used in games through 20 questions in this section. A height and distance of a flying hammer that a gardener threw can be calculated by vector. An orbit can be drawn by using Galileo's theory of falling. You have guessed right. I would like all of us to get close to mathematics and physics through this section. Also, I would like to let you know that the science principles exist in our lives and games deeply. The mathematics and physics cannot be conquered through 20 basic principles that I am going to introduce. The great scientists such as Newton likened a lifelong study to a boy's action to look for pretty seashells on the beach of truth. However, I think you will get close to mathematics and physics if you learn the basic concepts. You will know the basic concepts of mathematics and physics to make games for sure. Coco's 2DJS there are several frameworks to produce a game. Among those, we will use a framework named Coco's 2DJS. Coco's 2DJS uses JavaScript, and it is based on HTML5, which is growing to become the industry standard. Therefore, it can be used in most of the web browsers and devices that supports HTML5. The biggest advantage of Coco's 2DJS is that with just a single development, it can be used in various platforms such as iPhone, Android, Windows Mobile and PC platforms such as Windows, Mac, and Linux. 
I hope you will be able to understand the games easily and be more familiar with the programming using Coco's 2DJS. In this book, I will explain some basic concepts like actions, coordinate system and animation and so on that you need to know when developing a Coco's 2DJS game. You can get all sample codes provided in this book. We recommend that you download it directly for reference at the Crapple site. The examples in this book will serve as a useful reference in many ways. In this book, I would like to focus on mathematics, physics and game programming itself. If you want to know the ways to install programs and set up environment, please visit the Crapple site and get relevant additional documentations, movie clips which explain it for your references. In addition, I will provide an online lectures in relation to game programming and explain about this book. Enjoy mathematics, physics and games with Coco's 2D, JS.